Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and a lot of you have requested a video showing how I would go about washing a vehicle in the extreme winter time. Probably in the 30s, 40s, it's not freezing in this moment, but I've turned off my outside water uh, for my spigot just because it does get below freezing at night and I don't want it to burst. So this is kind of the route that I go when it comes to cleaning my car in the winter time. So let me kind of walk you through my process. So we're just gonna do a very quick walk around of the vehicle. My vehicle is ceramic coated. We have great gloss. If I pull you in close, you can kind of see we've got a good layer of dust on there. I don't wanna go too aggressive with wiping my finger all over. The biggest issue that we have with washing our vehicle is removing road film because you can go through an automatic car wash and I'm here at a local car wash. They have options of soft touch or the, um, the non-touch car washes. So, if you don't want to go the route of being in a bay and doing it yourself, obviously the no touch is going to be the safest route, but you're going to have an issue of road film being left behind. I'm going to show you kind of how I would combat that. But first, for me to do it in the self-cleaning bay, I'm going to use a couple different chemicals. So first and foremost, I want to show you guys. So here we have kind of a combination of sprayer options for you. So if you don't have, I would say good, better, best when it comes to quality of foamers. Here we just have McKees 37 actually has a foaming pump trigger that you can use a product like Superior Products Rage or whatever kind of pre-foam that you wanna use on your vehicle. You can use that chemical in this to pre-foam your vehicle before you even start washing it in the, the bay. You can also use something like an IK foamer. Now I'm going to use both of these products actually as my tire wheel and wheel well pre-foam. Um, uh, yes, you could use the chemicals that are here. If we were to go over to the options that you see here on the wall, you could use their pre-soak. You could use bug removers, wheel and tire, foam brush. I find some of that unnecessary. You're just going to end up spending more time and more money. Really, the ones that I'm worried about is right here. And I could use the air dry, but I'm actually going to use the water to help add lubrication because I'm going to dry my vehicle with a drying aid. So essentially to do this very affordably, you could use you know, a pump trigger or pump sprayer like the IK Foamer or the Marilex Axle Foamer. Now here I have cleanliness from um, angel wax. This is a safe pre-foam for ceramic coated vehicle. If you don't have a ceramic coated vehicle, then you can use Rage. Now, sometimes Rage can cause little speckles to the paint like this that I was talking about. If you have kind of a wax or sealant, it can actually kind of remove some of that. And in fact, on some very cheap light coatings, it has been known. I have a friend that had like a very you know, like maybe a six to nine month coating on a vehicle and it completely stripped it. So the surfactants within Rage, the dye isn't going to stain it, but what will happen is the, the product can actually remove and dull the finish because of the surfactants and the cleaning agents within the product. So when you're using it as a road film remover, make sure you're using it on the proper vehicle. I wouldn't recommend it for ceramic coated vehicles. So if you have a ceramic coated vehicle, this is gonna be the option that you wanna go with the cleanliness. And I'll kind of showcase these different pump sprayers to you guys to kind of see, you know, are you gonna to wanna to pay a little bit more for the ease of comfort? Um, you know, are you willing to kind of have the, the hand cramp and things like that? So that's how I'm gonna kind of pre-treat the vehicle. And then when it comes to tires and wheels, obviously I'm gonna be using my touchless method. I'm gonna be using Meguiar's wheel brightener and then Rage for our wheels, tires, things like that. We're gonna let that foam on, and then we're gonna use the high pressure rinse to clean it off. And here's that cleanliness that I was talking about from Angel Wax. Now when it comes to drying aids, I'll kind of walk you through that process once we get to it. But let me first go ahead, I'm gonna show you what this pump sprayer looks like. If we were to come in here, you can see the pump sprayer does a really great job actually of getting the product foamed on there. If we were to do this on our tires and wheels, I'm not gonna do any sort of contact to these. I'm just going to spray them down. It does use a lot of product, not super high foaming, but it's 
a lot more foaming than if you were to just use a standard sprayer. And then just come in here. We're gonna use our McGuire's Will Brightener Acid. And this is going to do touch-free cleaning for our wheels. This is a great way to clean your wheels in the winter time after you've kind of already done a deep cleaning to maintain them. So that's that process. Let me show you what the IK foamer, how easy that foams on. All right, so here's our IK foamer. You can see you're spending more, but you're getting one, a lot faster results and a lot better foam. Just gonna come in here again, do our Meguiar's wheel brightener. You can use Superior Products wire wheel brightener as well. If you can get that locally, they don't ship it. I found that Meguiar's wheel brightener is really one of the only acid-based wheel cleaners that can be shipped. I think Nanoskin has one as well, but it's so affordable, Meguiar's wheel brightener. And you can kind of let that rage sit on there. You're probably thinking, don't let that sit too long. I'm only gonna be another minute. So we'll let all that dwell. Come over here. And the rage is not going to damage the tire coating, especially because I'm not agitating it. It's just essentially loosening up any surface dirt. It's not going to compromise the coating on the tire. All right, so we've got that done. We're gonna go ahead, grab our cleanliness in our pump sprayer. Get this pumped up to pressure. This is by far one of the best foaming pump sprayers I have ever encountered. Give me one second. Thank you. 
cheaper than that. get scratched is improper wash and drying methods. So when it comes to washing, obviously we didn't touch it, so we don't have to worry about that. I did not use the brush. Don't use the brush. You don't know what has been used on the vehicle in front of you. They could have been a poop truck for all you know, or a car completely riddled with salt and that dirt does not get rinsed out of those brushes and then you're just taking that and rubbing it all over the surface. So do not use the brushes in the bays. I would not recommend that at all. If you're going to use their soaps, if you're going to use any of their pre-treaters, go ahead. I'm looking for the cheapest way to do it. The total charge I think for that was like $1.80 for me to just use the water and do that. I can do that weekly. That's very affordable. Let's say there's three months in winter, there's four weeks in a month. You're looking at a dollar for every one of those weeks. So it's very affordable to be able to wash it. Now you want to have a soft drying method. My favorite for drying obviously is going to be something that is a plush microfiber. Autofiber dreadnoughts are probably not my number one. You can also use something like the luxury microfiber. Um, drying towels that are out there. I know Brio's Garage has a lot of fantastic ones. These are very affordable. You can buy them in various sizes, but I have two here. And then when it comes to a car, if you do not have any sort of ceramic coating on your vehicle, if you just have a spray wax, if you have a wax or sealant, and you're looking to top your vehicle off, you want to use a spray wax as a drying aid. So you have options such as Turtle Wax Ice Spray Wax. You can use their seal and shine. You can also use something like a Duragloss Aqua Wax. These are going to give you anywhere from two to three months of protection. It's not going to be super long term. They're not highly chemically resistant. It's not going to be withstand a lot of the road salt, but it will give you enough protection between washes as well as give you that lubrication you need in drawing your vehicle. If you have a ceramic coated vehicle, you can use something like Manette Showstopper. This, or their Mega Shine, forgive me. This is safe for ceramic coated vehicles. It's a fantastic detailer. You can use it on glass, trim, anything. It will actually add hydrophobics to your glass if you use it. It does add a small layer of protection and it's fantastic, very affordable, easy to use product. One of my favorites when it comes to topping a vehicle that's already ceramic coated, gives great gloss and shine. For today's purposes, I'm just gonna be using O&R. Now I have a half an ounce, which is one cap full in this bottle. So it's essentially at their clay lubrication dilution. So it's going to be a higher dilution of the product, which means it's going to give me better lubrication and protection for drying. So what I'm essentially going to do, because the vehicle is still wet, this is going to dilute it to some extent. But we're just going to come in here, spray the entire panel down. It's going to give us lubrication as we're drying. And then we're just going to come in here and dry our panel adding any sort of protection but it's also safely drying because of that encapsulation science and then you just keep moving around the vehicle until you have it dried if you want to top it with a sealer a sealant a wax you can go ahead and do that but this is a safe way to take care of your vehicle dry it wash it get it clean to be able to handle anything that winter can throw at it.
say you're at the car wash bay and you can't dry it off fast enough and you have water spots. That's where products like this is also going to help. Can you see this come in? You can re-wet, but it helps soften up the mineral deposits and it helps remove those water spots that can kind of be a pain in the butt because you can see here in the sun, it's already evaporating. But you just come in here, dry it off, and you remove those water spots safely. All right, so here's our finished look. You can see with just pre-foam soak, something like Rage for an unprotected vehicle or cleanliness that if you have a ceramic coated or a high quality sealant that you want to preserve, do a pre-foam soak. You can use Rage and wheel brightener. I did not touch my wheels or tires with anything but high pressure. Everything looks fantastic. Mind you, I'm maintaining. I'm not letting it get to the point where I need to do a lot of heavy agitation, but that's the key to having a better look to your vehicle and less effort maintenance. So you can see we did the high pressure rinse, came over here to dry it off, used our O&R as a drying aid. I actually only used one of the auto fiber drying towels. O&R is a fantastic glass cleaner, so I was able to do my glass. You can use it for your door jams. You can even take it wipe down your interiors. It's a fantastic interior cleaner. You can even remove light stains with ONR. ONR is really all you need for inside and out for protecting your vehicle. You can obviously add a UV protectant. So if you have something like a Turtle Wax Ice Spray Wax or Meguiar's Express Spray Wax, use that for your interior dash along where the sun kind of touches any of your vinyl. You can use an Express Spray Wax or something like that for protection on the outside, but I'm kind of trying taking it from the route of someone who has already protected their vehicle coming into winter, how do you maintain it? If you haven't done any sort of protection on your vehicle, obviously you probably want to check out some of my previous videos like the Colonite 845 and how to protect your vehicle for winter time because you want to have a quality wax or sealant on your vehicle that's going to withstand a lot of high chemicals. But if you don't want to have to put your vehicle through a lot of the high pH soaps, that are common with your soft touch or touchless automatic car washes. If you wanna to try to preserve whatever wax sealant you have on there, cleanliness is a fantastic pre-foam soak. You don't necessarily have to always use the chemicals that are in you know, your car washes. They're gonna have a high pH of 12 or 13, which has meant that they don't distinguish between road film or your wax. They're gonna strip whatever is on there. So this is the safest way that I have found to wash and protect my vehicle in the winter time. So you can see we've got fantastic gloss. Do you see any major scratches in the paint? No. I do have some issues with my ceramic coating and like I said, we're gonna be taking care of that in the future. We're gonna be doing IGL F4 just to kind of get me through the interim and I'm gonna show you how to use that if you have issues with your ceramic coating. But then also in the future, I'm just going to be completely stripping everything and reapplying a brand new coating. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out. I'm going to try to edit this out so it makes a little bit more of a condensed version. I know this can be a little lengthy, but it really doesn't have to be rocket science and you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get your car clean and maintained in the winter time. Maintenance is key. Don't use the brushes that you see in a lot of the soft touch or even the bays. I don't recommend them at all because of the amount of salt. Be mindful to your undercarriage. Try to clean it when you can. You don't even necessarily have to use uh, a lot of contact in the winter time. But O&R or a rinseless, waterless chemical is going to be your best friend for removing any of the remaining road film that's on your vehicle and safely drying it. Thanks for watching guys. We're going to see you in the next video. Hopefully it's in the new house in the new garage. I might do IGL F4 a little bit later on just to show you how I would use that product and in what ways it might benefit a detailer. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.